We've had a lull in terms of the systems that are developing, but a reminder that this year is supposed to see above normal storm activity, says the Met Service, especially in our area of interest, which is from Trinidad all the way across the Atlantic, south of 15 degrees north in towards into Africa. And just on a queue, there are two disturbances out there, one area of a low pressure, which is just south of the Cape Verde Islands, and another one, which is further to the west. And we'll likely see a couple of those two systems beginning to develop as we go through the weekend and into early next week. There's a possibility of them becoming a depression, especially as they are favoring the low wind shear and over some warm waters. But for us here in Trinidad and Tobago, we'll just like to see a few showers are coming by, a scattering of them for the most part across uh, Tobago. But you will be seeing the sunshine at times. But that daytime heating will likely still spark some showers, especially during the heat of the afternoon. And after those showers, it will feel quite humid and sticky. Out towards Trinidad, they're looking for a mostly settled night, but there will be a scattering of showers, especially down along the south coast through Muruga, Pinal, out towards San Fernando. Up towards the north, you'll also see a few showers into the early hours. But as usual, at this time of the year, once we get the daytime heating, as well as that moisture building along the western areas, we'll see some thundery downpours, especially from Diego Martin out towards Port of Spain and along the Gulf of Paria into San Fernando, Pinal, and down towards Point Fort in Anicata. So watch out for those thundery downpours, especially you may see some street or flash flooding in at those places. In terms of our temperatures, looking for a mild night, 24 degrees Celsius in Arima, 25 degrees Celsius elsewhere, 26, and no lower than that in Tobago. And it will be a warm day tomorrow in Tobago, 32 degrees Celsius for the most part, entering into a warm weekend. But by Monday, we're watching uh, that area of uh, low pressure, uh, that disturbance nearing the island chain. We're possibly seeing some uh, showers coming out of that as you go towards a uh, Monday and Tuesday. Similarly for Trinidad, looking for a hot weekend, no lower than 34 by day or 25 by night. And then we'll see some showers early next week. So the beaches, you may be thinking about that. But unfortunately, there's some long northerly swells arriving, all courtesy of Jose. Those swells are sweeping the eastern Caribbean, looking at 14 seconds from the north and looking at wind waves of one and a half to two meters for the most part. So still be mindful about that. Now there is Jose, you can just see it there. It is a, still a tropical storm, but it may well strengthen into a hurricane as you go through Friday. And as it makes its way towards the northwest, it'll be passing between Bermuda and the Bahamas and making that northward trend as a hurricane possibly category one and heading up towards the United States. Now it may make a close call on uh, the eastern seaboard but more than likely it is set to stay out to sea. But again it's still too early to tell but obviously they'll be watching this quite closely as it will be a hurricane by the time it makes its presence felt up towards the north. But the swells are still continuing to affect the eastern Caribbean, eastern parts of the United States as well as uh, the Bahamas. So there is a uh, Jose. It is still a lot of moisture. You can see a lot of the moisture being pulled in towards Hispaniola as well as Puerto Rico. This will likely spark some showers as well. Some of those turning heavy and a thundery, and that will continue through Friday and possibly into Saturday. So let's take our tour then across the Caribbean. We'll see Kingston at Showery at 32 degrees Celsius, at 32 with those thunder showers for Santo Domingo, and a touch higher, 33 with the thunder clouds for Haiti as well as Port-au-Prince. There'll be few clouds around for the Lesser Antilles for the most part. Lots of sunshine to help the relief efforts up towards Barbuda and much of the Virgin Islands. Down towards the south, though, we'll be seeing scattering of showers coming through St. Lucia, out towards Barbados and St. Vincent. St. George's and Grenada may still feel quite steamy, despite only one or two showers coming through. But Georgetown will see a late afternoon shower, possibility of it turning thundery further inland away from that coastline. So that's your weather, and that's it from me.